You know what's truly terrifying? People who still use Skype. And boy, can I not wait to watch an entire movie of people doing just that for an hour and a half. <laughs> Originally titled Cybernatural, which I think is a much better name, Unfriended is a horror movie that ambitiously chose to go even cheaper than a regular found footage movie by taking place entirely on a computer screen. From a purely budgetary standpoint, it's honestly an ingenious idea. Made on only a million dollars, it would have been practically impossible for it to have flopped. And Boy, did it not. Plus, 60% of that budget was used to market it online, furthering its chances even more. That's pretty damn clever if I'm gonna be honest. I wish that meant that they put any form of effort into the actual movie, though. I don't mean to be doing so many horror movies in a row lately, I just keep coming up with ones I think would be fun to do videos on. The next one will be different, okay? I promise. Anyway, let's watch. Shit, they've messed with the Universal logo. That's how you know it's gonna be scary. For real though, any movie that opens on Live Leak is a worry. We're introduced to a girl named Laura Barnes that apparently took her own life following an embarrassing video of her being posted online. Although, with this kind of audio quality, I'm really not sure how anyone knew it was her. <laughs> what in God's name was used to film this? Our main character, Blair, clicks on said embarrassing video, elegantly entitled, Laura Burns Kill Yourself. Which I would say wouldn't be up on YouTube, but if we're being honest, with ourselves. I really couldn't care less about this right now though. I just want to find out how to plate food like a pro. Hey, hey baby. Hey Blair, how you doing? It's been a while, babe. I got something to show you. Ooh, I'm excited. Hang on real quick. I'm gonna be at least have the courtesy to mute yourself, Mitch. No one wants to hear you taking a piss. Now, I do appreciate that they've gone to the effort to include lag in their video to make it look genuine, but if they really wanted to make it authentic to Skype, then it should look like this. Why? Those feet. Why don't you take that shirt off? Make me. Um, did I click on the right movie here? Take that shirt off before that's, I cut it off. That's really violent. Ah oh, yes, I too keep a big ass knife next to my bed. Who doesn't, right? And I want those panties <laughs> off. You're gonna lose it. I, I feel- I feel gross watching this. Don't, I don't want to hear about your balls, that's so gross. We're spared of any more of this enthralling conversation as a bunch of their other friends somehow jump into the call. Oh, someone's in their chonies! Hey Mitch, why do you have such a big boner, bro? As they get acquainted, they discover that someone is in the call with them that they don't know. What kind of sex were you guys having? <sighs> Damn it! No, what- who is that? Oh, hey guys, it's me. How y'all doing? To get rid of the mysterious caller, they all try hanging up and calling each other again. Bye. Bye! Instead of doing that, though, Blair instead decides to text her boyfriend, questioning why he let the others into the call. But as it turns out, he didn't. And Mitch has done it, everyone. In less than 10 minutes, he's figured out the entire plot of the movie. Before he can spoil anything else, though, Mitch then mysteriously stops responding. He's probably off taking another piss again. Blair, relax, it's been like 10 seconds. As she continues to harass the poor guy, her other friends finally remember she exists. And to nobody's surprise, the guy's still there. What is this person's problem? Guys, guys, it's definitely a hacker. My God, I feel sorry for Mitch. Oh, he's alive. Turns out Mitch wasn't pulling an epic prank on her though, because Blair receives a Facebook message from Laura immediately after. <laughs> anyway, it's time for Skype call with the boys round three. Three stars, motherfuckers! <laughs> with no other options left, Blair decides to pull out the big guns and threatens to report the hacker. Yeah! I get that this movie is meant to be from a first person perspective for its gimmick, but actually having to sit and watch Blair slowly going through Facebook's report process is very tedious. I like that while all of this is going on, they are just totally ignoring the rest of their friends. Where? Where'd you go? Oh wow, they finally noticed. Stop looking at porn. Hey, I'm writing an email. You've been writing an email for the past 10 <laughs> minutes, like Blair. What is this, a creepypasta now? To get to the bottom of this mystery, Blair invites a girl named Val into their call, who she suspects may be behind all this. And also because they all like to bully her for no apparent reason. Val! Turn up the sound, you dumb bitch! Obviously, learning from Laura's story, one of the other girls then posts a bunch of embarrassing pictures of Val without asking her first. Oh. Dude, I will beat your ass any goddamn day if oh, you come I'm in for so sure. I'm so Listen, sure. we are not ghetto. No, okay, how about this? 
Claire, Claire really? Do you want me to fucking delete him or not? Yes! Delete Things get even spookier when messages get sent to each other without any of them typing anything. I love the idea of the ghost being this petty. No, I didn't type oh, anything! Oh, I didn't type it, then who did? Well, at least she's honest. Using her amazing detective skills of clicking on the account, Blair discovers that they're somehow being messaged by Laura. Alright, alright, let's stop fucking around. Everyone, hands up right now. Who's doing that? Nah, don't shoot! The ghost then sends Val something. We don't really find out what, but judging from her reaction, it must have been Reddit memes or something. Oh my god! Where did you get this? This is fucked up! You hear me? Yes, asshole. Good news. I'm calling the cops. Congratulations, dipshit. Um, listen, my name is Valley Ramel. I'm <gasps> online, and there's some asshole making direct threats against me. Ken, I swear to God, if I find out this is you, I will burn you alive. You understand you me? Yeah. Uh-oh, someone got caught by the cyberbully police. Just as they decide that hanging out would probably be a good idea, Laura sends them all an email. Click the fucking link, dude! No, Blair, that's how they hack into your Minecraft account! The URL takes them to a clearly legitimate screenshot of a heartfelt conversation between Laura and Val. Why don't you kill yourself, lol? Nobody wants to talk about it, but I'll give you the Ken opinion. Laura fucking sucked. She was a big bully, okay, and she deserved all the shit she got from that video. Ken, she died. Okay, this is great and all, but I still want to know more about those delicious spare ribs. Blair and Mitch argue over whether Laura sucked as much as Ken claimed she did, but then Blair reveals that she and Laura used to be really good friends with each other. The two decide to hang up only to receive this hilarious message from Ghost Laura. As things continue to heat up, Val decides to make everything worse by rejoining the call. Luckily for her, she has a group of really kind and supportive friends to help her out with her trouble. Hey Val, you stupid bitch, say something. I'm hey you guys, you. sorry to interrupt, did I ever talk to you about my Bionicle collection that I'm really proud of? Uh, this one here is my favorite, his name is Toa Tama, and he's mirror. the leader of the Toa Nuva, uh, formerly see the, the Toa Master, the Toa yeah. created by the Protodermis. And uh, obviously you can see by the red color he has uh, fire powers because he's the Torah of Fire and he uses those elemental abilities to fight against Makuta and the Rahi which are the bad guys. Following that very tragic loss, Blair then gets another message from Ghost Laura saying she's wanting to expose all of their best kept secrets. Starting of course with her. I could not think of anything to put here that was funnier than what the actual what? movie does. What did he send you guys? <laughs> This is amazing! The ghost in this movie is using a meme generator to terrorize the main characters. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. They attempt other incredible ideas like muting their mics and only speaking through their phones, only for Laura to undo them in the sassiest way possible. Luckily for them though, Ken knows how to search things up on Google. Guys, can you just fucking trust me, okay? Install this program and I'll find okay. out who it is. You like games? You seem to like games, dude. I thought we were gonna play. I, I have a fucking great game for you, man. Okay, you guys got it? Uh, are you- are you serious? I'm not quite sure how an antivirus software is going to stop someone from joining your Skype call, but go nuts, guys. Fuck you, Billy! Yeah. Suck on that, bitch! Yep, and of course it worked. Okay, movie. The next course of action is to call the police, only to remember that they live in America. Are you safe? Yeah, we're good. Even Ken? God damn it, Ken! You shouldn't have torrented all that anime! Hey guys, it's me again. I think you accidentally kicked me from the call or something. Anyway, I was talking about my Bionicle collection, so- They finally get a visual from Laura's end, only to find that the strange angle is actually from elsewhere in Ken's room. <laughs> that wasn't even the ghost. Skype just does that. Ken? 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 Wow, that was great, guys. Well done. Ken, you silly man. That's not at all how you make a smoothie. Hey guys, it's me again. What? I'm what? Why is everyone shouting at me? What? What video? Yes, movie. I got it. Thank you. Dude, Cat does a backflip? Blair, how are you not more excited about your recommended? Laura then gleefully announces that they're going to be playing a game of Never Have I Ever because this ghost is 12 years old. And it's here that we learn that they all had a hand in Laura's bullying. I <laughs> get it? And you took it for yourself! No, he didn't! Yeah, no, he didn't! It wasn't like I'm that, still... man! It wasn't like that! Just... It wasn't! No, it wasn't! It wasn't. Like... I knew it was one of you guys, okay? I was gonna buy a burger with that. Never have I ever had sex. Hey, Billy. What are you doing? Can we get right a now? timer, please? What are you doing? I like how by this point their cameras and audio have become almost entirely screwed. Now we're starting to get an accurate representation of Skype. Blair's next course of action is to go onto chat roulette and beg people to call the police for her instead of doing literally anything else. And look, I'm just saying if this was the real chat roulette, then this movie would not be allowed in theaters, okay? 
There we go. Now this is what Skype is like. Please, Laura, it wasn't us. It was them, yeah. <laughs> and for her last trick, Ghost Laura reveals that it was in fact Blair who filmed the video of her in the first place. <laughs> Well, this guy wasn't listening at all. And now Blair is left all by her lonesome to contemplate the horrific decision she made that led to the demise of her once best friend, accompanied by nothing but the gentle hum of her computer to join her in her solidarity. An admittedly mature and thought-provoking ending for this film. <laughs> yeah, no, just kidding. It ends on a jump scare. <laughs> wow, that, that was great. I have to admit though, one friend it does have a pretty good message overall. Don't use Skype. Despite its gimmick, it still falls into your usual horror movie pitfalls. Obviously, the main one is the egregious overuse of jump scares. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, come on, really? And then, of course, there's the moments where they're trying a little too hard to appeal to a younger demographic. It's just a stupid troll, dude. Obvious troll is obvious. <laughs> We got pretty good reviews across the board though, so maybe I'm the weird one. I think it would have been massively improved had they used Discord instead though. The filmmakers must not be gamers. I would love to see a newer version of this where instead of a ghost, it's just a really annoying 12 year old joining the main voice chat and not going away. According to IMDb, the movie was all filmed in one long take, with each cast member being behind a computer in different rooms of the same house and were encouraged to improvise a lot of their lines. Which does explain a lot to be honest, it'd be impossible to script some of these iconic lines. Hey Mitch, why are you have such a big boner bro? The cast also weren't informed that they were the ones who bullied Laura until after filming, which probably explains why they kept insisting they didn't do anything wrong right until the very end. Please, Laura, it wasn't us! Anyway, that was Unfriended, a movie truly unmatched in its ability to make you hate the main character. So, of course, they made a sequel. Unfriended Dark Web. Oh, I bet that one's even better. If you want to see a movie with a similar premise that does a lot more with less, then I'd recommend Host. It's basically Unfriended, but... Good. If you guys hate me enough and want me to watch the sequel, then by all means, please let me know. For now though, I'll see you next time.